get off the stage without hanging myself on the floor. Just take it. Yeah. Yeah. Give it up for your host. Give it up for your host. They brought me here tonight to bring the hood comedy to y'all. I'm so hood I grew up in the suburbs. It's the gangster. Gangster chess and getting the mail out the mailbox and feeding the cats. <laughs> Getting chased by dogs. <laughs> Neighborhood watch meetings. Uh, that's that awkward silence. <laughs> it's good to be here tonight. How many people from Jersey in the house? That's where I'm from. Hey, how you doing? South Jersey people. South Jersey people? Central, Central Jersey people. Trenton area, same thing as you? Yeah. Good. I'm from South Jersey, for those of you who don't know. By uh, Fort Dix. Pretty much my dad retired from the military, so military brat myself. But uh, I don't know if you guys know in Jersey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nobody claps for military brats, never. Free swimming pools and weight rooms and free everything. Like, yeah, free fireworks. Go to the worst schools. You know, sorry, I just have mental blocks of time. <laughs> but in Jersey right now, the gas is two dollars and sixty cents. Yeah, it really is. Yes, I cried the first day I seen two ninety nine. I was driving my car and I seen two ninety nine. I said, "Thank you, Jesus." <laughs> I, I thought Obama was doing a bad job. <laughs> These gas prices dropping. I can't wait to see a dollar. So remember when gas first got to two dollars? When it was like a dollar ninety-seven, what was everybody saying? If gas get to two dollars, I ain't driving no more. Remember that day hit five dollars? This is ridiculous. I expect us to go to work. But I realized when gas got back to two sixty, I said, it has to be a heaven. Right? A lot of people don't believe in heaven, some people do, some people don't. Some people actually believe in they, they want to go to hell, but they want to want to live with Satan forever. So what I do to those people is I keep lighter fluid in the back of my car. I put lighter fluid on their back and throw a match on them and say, that's a sample of what it's going to be like living with Satan. You're a cruel man, man. You want to live with Satan. There you go. It's Satan time. Another thing I've seen, anybody seen the movie Heaven is For Real? I heard about it. It was a book first. A little kid said he died, went to heaven. It was a pretty good movie, actually. But the thing that tripped me out, if you've seen the movie or heard anything, the little kid said Jesus was black when he seen him. And I said, well, nobody that died went to heaven had to tell me God was black or Jesus was black. Because who else keeps time like God except black man? He says, to you, a thousand years is one day to me. I said, I'm not going to keep time when you ask him, God, when are you coming back? He says, no man knows the day or the hour. When I asked my dad, when he left, Dad, when are you coming back? He said, no man <laughs> knows the day or the hour. But he came back at an inappropriate time, said he was working overtime. No. <laughs> yeah. That was odd for me growing up, and like, cause there's like this, like underprivileged area they call them hoods, ghettos, like where I live at. Not where I live, but like around the corner where I live. I live in a nice, I grew up in four bedroom house. We didn't have a dog. Cause my dad didn't believe in dogs and stuff, but uh, like my a lot of my friends used to complain, like man, my dad ain't got no dad. And when I see him, I'll punch him in his face. I'll be sitting there the same way, like, yeah. I'm not gonna, when I see my dad tonight, I'm not going to punch him in his face. <laughs> oh, man, so I'm going to leave you with something my dad told me. I recently moved back in five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> told me, you know, I said, Dad, I got these long arms. My dad's short arms, stocky dude, you know, drill sergeant, that's what he was. He says, I said, Dad, where I get these long arms from? Not tall, 
I can scratch my kneecaps. I'm like, anybody else? He says, he says uh, son, you know what they say about a man with long arms, right? So I'm like, oh, my dad's about to tell me something so inappropriate, something I can use later on the ladies. I said, what they say, Dad? He says, he needs to get the hell out of his dad's house. That's my time. <laughs> that was Brian James. Keep it going for Brian. Thank